players. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, they have rhythm. Oh, we got rhythm. And they they love music. Okay. Yeah, and and. But you said you're more black than me. I wonder, how is that? It's it's how you think. Okay. <laughs> it's how you think, you know. Because I tell you something, like like you have suffered. Sikhs have suffered. There okay. you go. There you go. Uh, you know, you have wow. suffered a lot. In yes, we country. have. And I, we have suffered a lot in our country. Yes, yes. Well, I want everybody to know, too, Mr. Singh, that we got your stuff up there for them to see. Yes. Okay? So we didn't get a chance to actually show it clearly, but for just a second. Here it is. Sing for Congress 2010. Go there, everybody. I'm just going to scroll down quickly because we didn't get to show the videos, but I want you to see Mr. Singh wrote this. And these are his videos of him speaking, beautiful and personal. You got to go check it out yourself www.votesing.com and, and, and .org by the way I was like wow dot, Mr. Singh has a .org and a .com and like Mario said one more thing I want to say Mr. Singh Mario stated that Mr. Singh's writing was full of passion that's very very rare because most candidates don't write their own, their own stuff their own stuff and, it, and usually when it's on the website it's kind of crazy very consistent uh, the, the, it flows the fluidity of it it's beautiful you really feel like you're here in a historical moment being taken place you get to know Mr. Online. Singh as a person. Can I, can I say something? Yes, you, know, sir. you were making a request to uh, the viewers to donate money directly to the candidate. Yes. I don't even need money. Okay. <laughs> what, I, what, I need, what do you need? I need, I need people to send me stamps. Oh, wow. Because uh, most of the time, most of the money that the candidates spend is by sending mailers, and sending letters to the constituents. So here you have a first a so candidate saying, "Don't send me money, send me a stamp." I gotta, I gotta like that right off the what? bat. Send me the stamps. Uh, send me a roll of stamp. What? Two rolls of stamps. Send a roll of stamps. Book of stamps. We, we, that is great. We got ten minutes left. I got to keep going. Okay, so let's talk about immigration. Arizona law. Apparently, you know, there's still a lot of controversy going on. Eighty percent of the people are now starting to say that they're going to support, and the Arizona people are, are are standing behind it. There's a lot of people who feel that law is discriminating and it's not fair. It's unjust. Real quick, what is your opinion on that? You're an immigrant. You're I'm a legal. Immigrant. You're a legal immigrant. You're not an alien. Every country has a right to decide who gets to. Come to their country. Okay. I'm a legal immigrant. I followed a process. I came to this country. That process is still available to everybody who wants to come to the United States of America. Okay. And that process begins at the country where you come want to come from. In my case, it began in India. And I was able to but I was able to come here. The people who come here illegally mm -hmm. They have broken the laws of this country. Well, you know, political brothers said that okay. we, we stole their country. Yeah. He is king, consistently saying he's quiet today, but I'm telling you on previous shows, he has personally attacked me. This man is a Well, I just said you can't ignore the history. You can't ignore the history. We stole this country. You can't ignore the history. Well, not saying ignore the history, but we didn't steal this country. You heard that from a Latino, a, 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 a Mexican Oh, stole is a matter of opinion. Yeah. You committed yeah. genocide against present. the Native Americans. How's we that? We are living in present. Okay. <laughs> we are living in present. Right now, California. Arizona is the part of the United States of America. So we're not in the Jim Crow law. We're not word, of the past. Exactly. The word acknowledges it. Okay. If you want to come to this country, you have to start the process in one of the American consulates or American embassies in the country where you want to come from. Or should they be sent back or should they be able to give amnesty here? I do not believe in blanket amnesty at all. Wow. And the reason for that is... Once we, we gave an amnesty uh, during President Reagan's time okay. to 3 million people. Right. And look what happened. We didn't control our border, which we were supposed to control the border. These Congress people and the senators who passed that law to control the border, they did not enforce no, the law. No, no. no they were, and they were Republicans, wow, who okay. passed Republicans that law. Democrats. Okay, but remember last <laughs> week, <laughs> Ronald Ronald Reagan. the political brother, you attacked me again on Arizona, stating that the Arizona people don't have the right to control the governments. When we said that the oh, feds aren't doing their job, no, no, so the say, states no, no. had to I do their own say job. That you, I said that it becomes really... A problem to have states independent. It is not a problem because government is telling problem. you right here that the feds are not doing their job. No, no, it's a national. You need a national so policy. Well, if national policies were being enforced. Obviously, they're not enforced because states are not being able to get support from the feds. So the states have to be in charge, like Arizona's Shall doing. Well, that's time, your. Please. I don't say that. If we give blanket amnesty again, mm. you know what is going to happen? What's going to happen? You're going to after after these people get the blanket amnesty. You're going to have another 15, 20 million people coming here because they know that 
10 years from now, 15 years from now, right. 20 years from now, right. it will be their chance. It's like an open candy store. Yeah, it's an open right? candy store. Absolutely. We have, to, we have to take care of our immigration policy properly. So you support because Arizona. You support do, the law of Arizona. I do support Arizona. 120 percent. You're an immigrant that supports the law. Absolutely. And if they're not here legally, they need to get out. Get their asses out. Kick them out. If, they, if they're not here, Ill, if they're here illegally, they should not expect us to give them amnesty. Okay. The dream is over for them. Dream is not over for them. Okay. I think they can start over the process again. They can go back to their countries. Okay. They have made enough money here. They can go back to their countries. Go to a consulate, American consulate, stand in line, and they should be... And that's, and that's what you did. That's what I did. Okay. When you got here, let's talk real quick about... You got uh, like two minutes. I got now, it. I, I, so I, we don't, I, I wouldn't start another topic. Well, I, I just want to deal with the discrimination because discrimination... <laughs> <laughs> Make it real clear. Discrimination is a big issue to me. Being African-American <laughs> and people calling us Negroes or niggas or, or colored people, uh, um, Latinos who call wetback. Do you ever get people who call you towelhead, not knowing that you're Indian and Armenian? What, how do you deal with the discrimination? People who are jealous of your success? I mean, after 9-11, did you feel the dynamics of how people addressed you changed? I tell you something. I have uh, never felt that I'm being discriminated against. Uh, once I get out of, of my house, I'm dressed up, I never see that how people are viewing me. Mm. I just go about doing my job, uh, doing the best for myself, and doing the best for this country. To create jobs, to open businesses, and make it... Make, Hire more people to work in my restaurant. How many people have you hired and created? How many jobs do you think you've created I think as an American of, Indian? Over a period of uh, 35 years, I might have hired over thousands of people. Wow. And they're not just, uh, you know, uh, all colors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All, 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 all colors. All colors. people. Uh, Mexicans. Cultures. Uh, Indians. Uh, white Americans. Black Americans. Right. Everybody. Wow. To me... Uh, discrimination doesn't exist. You got 30 seconds. Tell the family, look in that camera and tell them, what do you want to make known about you? You're running for the 27th Congressional District. Uh, I'm running for 27th District and I have 30 seconds to tell you that if you vote for me, if you support me, you will have a person in Congress who will be uh, listening to you, number one. Number two, who will tell you the things the way it is. I will always tell the truth. And I will not be a burden on the U.S. government uh, because most of the salary that I'll be getting, I will be giving it to the widows of the men and women who are fighting, uh, uh, you know, in Pakistan or Iraq or anywhere to keep us free. Uh, that is my message. And I, all, all, I will also try to do, tell my con other congressmen and senators that they must serve for less because... Uh, most of the people who live in this country, they make forty, fifty, sixty thousand dollars, and they live a decent life. I don't see a member of Congress getting one hundred and seventy-eight, one hundred eighty thousand dollars. Wow! Well, ladies and gentlemen, let's give a hand and a rah rah for Mr. Singh. Navraj Singh, go to hiphoprepublican.tv and .com to learn more about Navraj. Navraj, I posted over four to five videos. You're going to get eight more videos today on him. Remember that we are Cybercast Live, 4 o'clock every day. You can watch hiphoprepublican.tv. Aquanetta Warren, my sister girl, going to be on this show, so you definitely want to check it out. Look, Navraj Singh's made it very clear. We're Americans. We should work and depend on each other and ourselves. We can do exchanges. We can do bar exchange. If you've got a trade, I've got a trade. Let's exchange that idea. Let's trade, exchange that growth in this country. America is a country of growth and opportunity. And you, my brothers and sisters, are the ones that have to make that change. You are the one that have to think outside the box and hold yourself accountable for what is out there. Read. Find books. Find great books to read. Out there, uh, Lenny McAllister. Love Lenny McAllister. Make sure you check out my friend, Alfonso Macho Sauce. You know, Alfonso's out there, got his wild videos. He's talking about immigration. We've got over almost 200 hits in less than four days on that video. HipHopRepublican.tv is the show that you definitely want to watch. My name is Shirley Hussar, H-U-S-A-R, and I want you to continue to come back. Give to HipHopRepublican.com.